Hello everyone. As you can tell by the title, this is my Dimensions Kit Stash Dive number two, and it's going to be showing you all of the, um, I guess, larger size dimension, regular dimension kits. Uh, my husband just walked in, walked in on me not too long ago, and he um, saw all the kits all over the floor because I've just finished my gold collection kit, filming my gold collection stash dive and he's like you need an intervention <laughs> yeah he's probably not wrong anyway I love collecting I love collecting kits that's pretty much the only thing I collect those cross stitch stuff and Christmas ornaments but other than that I'm not big into collecting other things so anyway let's get started I will try not to talk too much about these because I don't want this to be a five-hour video but um I know I like it when people talk about their stuff um, as opposed to just showing it. So I'll I'll try to balance um, balance between the two. I just need to figure out if I'm actually filming. I think I'm filming. I guess we'll find out by the time I'm done. And I hope this my microphone does not shake the camera. I apologize if it does. Okay, this one is called Snow Carolers Tree Skirt, and it's by Victoria Howard. Super cute. Another stocking, Santa's Finest Stocking by Judith Ann Griffith. And you'll see a theme. I love Christmas. I love animals. I love anything cute. This one is, this microphone's going to give me grief. I know it is. This is Snow Bear Stocking. Uh, and it is by Steve Whitlow. Sorry, give me a second, guys. I'm going to just switch my This one is called Hibiscus Duo by Lena Lu. So pretty. So the main difference between, um, and this is just from what I can observe between Dimensions Gold and Dimensions, like regular Dimensions, is that uh, there's typically fewer blends and there's typically, uh, they're usually not full coverage and you're not typically using like more than two strands of floss. This one is called Christmas Bear's Tree Skirt by Todd Trainer. This one is so cute. <gasps> Love it. This one is called Peeking at Santa Stocking by Betty Whitaker. And I bought it because I liked the little kids. It's really cute. And Santa. I love stitching Santa. This one is called uh, Dove of Peace by Danny Halbom. This is Santa's Gift Stocking by Donna Reese. Again, there's my white horse. So cute. This one, oh, this is a banner kit. I didn't realize this was one of my regular demand dimensions. This is Christmas Spirit Banner by Judith Ch Ching. This one I showed in my last video. Um, so I'm going to show you all of the, the kits that I haven't started. I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video. I don't think I did. Anyways, these are all of the regular dimensions that I haven't started or I haven't stitched and finished so just the unstarted pieces so but I showed this one on my last video this one's um this one's gonna get started very soon and someone actually posted on my Instagram yesterday uh I believe her name is Carolyn Carolyn I apologize if I'm not I'm I'm not saying the correct person but she uh gave a amazing tip on how to uh, soften up the uh, Ada in these kids. So if you are interested in seeing that, it's on my Instagram. It's a comment under my last update video post 
there's a picture of me. She gives like very detailed instructions on how to on how to soften the Ada. So thank you very much for that. That was uh, very helpful. I'm gonna try it. This is Emma's Friend Stocking by Jane Mayday. Birds, love birds. I don't like feeding birds though because they're messy. And we usually get like other like critters coming around. Um, we usually get mice, which then bring the snakes. <laughs> so we, I don't feed the birds at my house. Uh, this is Teddy Tea Party. I actually have this as a whip. This was actually the very first cross stitch that I ever started. And I found this kit at uh, Mary Maxim on clearance for like four or five dollars. So I purchased it uh, thinking that if I ran out of floss, I would just take it from this kit. But now I'm thinking maybe I'll just restart it. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one, but really cute. This one is called Power of the Serengeti by Charles Frace. This one is called Christmas Wish and it's by Paul Landry. So cute, little kids looking in through the toy store window. It's really cute. Now this one is um, called Cardinal Duel by Michael Adams. And it's, you're given a piece of waste canvas to put it on like a t-shirt or a shirt or something. I would never put this on a shirt. Um, this, I was thinking more of doing like ornaments, like putting this on um, perforated plastic or paper or whatever, and then cutting them out and hanging them on the tree. I think that would be really, really cute, really pretty. So this one is Winter Ride, and it is by Greg Giordano. Giordano? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have a I have a lot of kids with golden retriever puppies because I've always wanted as a kid I always wanted a golden retriever puppy as an adult I'm I'm quite happy not having a dog <laughs> I like dogs they're just it's a lot of work and I have kids so they're even more work <laughs> I don't need any more work <laughs> this one is called sheltered by Colin Bogle love that it's so cute Now this one I picked up at a thrift store and it, I don't know if anyone's done that, but I just couldn't leave it there because it was like five bucks, but I have the gold, um, oh, the Dimensions Gold uh, kit of this Frosty Morning, but this is like a printed, you can see that, it's like a printed canvas and then you just stitch the horses. Isn't that cool? That was kind of cool. Anyways, it was kind of one of those things like I can't, I just can't leave it here. <laughs> that is not dimensions. I'm gonna put that one away. This one is called Holy Family by Randy Woolman. Kind of got that stained glass effect. It's really pretty. This is called Sunlight Fox by. Joni Johnson Godsey and we actually right now have a family of foxes living kind of in the brush area up the side of our property and anytime I try to get a picture of them they like as soon as they see us they take off I don't have time to get my camera out this one is called uh, Angelic Ornaments by Ruth J and Bill D Moorhead really cute. This guy looks a little bit sneaky. And it comes with um, like charms and stuff in it. This one is called Holiday Stocking Ornaments. Those are really cute. It comes with Ada, but I, 
I think I would do this on like perforated paper. Let's see if I ever get around to doing that one. This one is called Dolphin's Domain and it's by James Hemsworth. And I believe uh, Ashley, the Wayward Stitcher, is doing a stitch along with this one um, in honor of uh, Winter, the dolphin. This one is called Tender Gaze by Kathy Fincher. This is the Sunset brand, but it's it's part of the D Dimensions Dimensions Company. This is a Siberian Snuggle by Howard Robinson. It's cute. And this one is Polar Bear Cups by John Van Zyke. John Van Zyl. This one is Charming Bird Watcher. I have quite a few kits of cats looking out the window at birds. And all I can say is, is that my cat does not look that calm when he's looking out the window at birds. He usually wants to like jump through the glass. Uh, this one is called So Very Sweet by Marjorie Sarnet. Nice in a sewing basket. Hummingbird art by Martha Edwards. It's really pretty. This one's called Partners in Crime by Leslie Harrison. It's so cute. I kind of feel bad for Raggedy Ann though. She's having her hair ripped out of her head. It's called Storytime Bears by Stuart Sherwood. It's really cute. Sandcastle Dreams by Sandra Cook. Again, I love her artwork. I have I have a lot of her um, Bradford Exchange plates from back in the day. This one's called Two Raccoon Cups by Re Rebecca Latham. We actually had um, a family of raccoons in our pool shed last year, and we didn't actually know they were there until um, we saw the mother. She had got hit by a car out in front of our house, and um, but we knew something was in the shed because stuff was getting just ripped to shreds. We couldn't figure out what it was, and my husband went in to turn the pool pump on one morning, and he was met by these two little baby raccoons. So I, I show a picture of them on my Instagram. They, they were really cute, but they're very destructive. <laughs> so $600 later to re relocate them. It's another golden retriever puppy, soft spot. Snowlin Ross. Now this one is a stamped kit. It's called Angel Bear Love by Teresa Kogut. But it's, as you can see, it's like a stamped Angelic Guardian by Mako. This one's called Angel Kisses by Sandra Cook. And I have a thing for angels too. I have a lot of angel kits. This one is Holding Hands uh, by Chris Kiefer. Love that one. That kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. We used to go to PEI, uh, Nova Scotia PEI, ever every other summer, and that scene just kind of reminds me of Prince Edward Island. This one's called "A Place in the Sun" by Lynn Estall. It's cute. Uh, Golden Retriever Puppies by John Weiss. Ooh, I don't know if I'd enjoy stitching that, but the puppies would be fun. This one is called Building Memories by Jack Sorensen, and I kind of wish this was a girl because I used to go fishing with my, my grandpa. I used to go up to their cottage every summer, and he would take me out fishing. He'd also, like, he'd also make fun of me 
<laughs> in a nice way, not in like a nasty way. He would make fun of me because I didn't like touching worms and I didn't like touching fish. So my grandmother had like these neon yellow garden gloves that I would wear if I was taking the fish off the hook or putting the worm on the hook. And he would, he would make fun of me. <laughs> all in fun, all in fun. It wasn't like mean or anything, but anyways, so that kind of reminded me of that. This one is called Teddy and Kittens by Leslie Harrison. This one I actually inherited from my uh, husband's aunt. Again, it's another stamped kit. It's called Meowsical Trio by Keith Kimberlin. And um, her eyes, she has, I think it's glaucoma. No, macular, macular degeneration. And she just, she just couldn't see to do it. Just really unfortunate. It kind of scares me to think that I wouldn't be able to see the stitch one day. Hopefully that's, that'll never be the case. But this one's called In the Beginning by Barbara Mock. And I believe Stitching Mummy is stitching this. Or has it a whip or she's finished it? Can't recall. But I do know I've seen that on her channel before. This one is called <clears throat> Barnyard Kitties. Oh, and the kids are going to fall down. Sorry. I've got a collapse of all these kids. There you go. Okay. Sorry, I'm talking kind of quiet because my husband is at home working today and I had to leave the door open a crack or else um, my cat um, my, my cat would like just be scratching at the, the door the whole time. So I'm talking kind of quiet. So I'm sorry if that's kind of annoying. Anyways, uh, this is Barnyard Kitties by Deb Bowie. And it's so sweet, that little orange cat. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I kind of have a thing for orange cats. If you see my Instagram, you'll know why. Uh, this is Honey Bear by Doug Knutson. And uh, I believe Luda has stitched and finished this. I feel like Luda has stitched and finished like every dimension kit out there. <laughs> I know she hasn't, but it just kind of feels like it sometimes. This one's called Fawn and Blossoms by Carrie Savage Ingram. Now this one is a needlepoint kit, and I actually have, um, Dimensions actually released back in the day a ton of leaflets. I have, I have a few of them, I have, uh, but I do have this one as a leaflet. It's just like a picture though, it's not a stocking. Um, but yeah, this is a needle, needlepoint stocking. I would love to know if this could be converted to cross stitch, because I'm not really big into needlepoint, but if anyone has ever, uh, converted needlepoint into cross stitch um pop me a comp comment down below because i'd i'd love to know how you did it um because that's something i would I, I like i would much prefer to cross stitch this than do needlepoint but um this is snowman and kitty stocking by susan Wingett. this one is called field of butterflies by james hotman This is Mother's Love by Howard Robinson. That's so cute. I think most of this is half cross cross stitch, actually, when I'm looking at it. And the white is actually unstitched. So this one might not take too long to stitch. Excuse me, I'm just bending down to get, grab a couple more here. This one's called Giants of the Sea by Terry Piles, and if you go over to Mama Bear Stitcher or Stitchery, um, she's actually finished this kit, and it's it's beautiful. This one is called Early Snow Cardinal Stocking. It's by Lusty Deer. It's so pretty. I think this is actually a picture too. You can get that as a picture. This one is called Angel Kitty Stocking by Stephanie Stover. Um, these kitties are so like 
tacky. <laughs> They're so cute. The tacky. <laughs> this is the stocking to the um, tree skirt I showed earlier. Snow Caroler stocking. That's by Victoria Howard. This one is called Sled Dogs. It is by Amy Brackenbury. Cat Comfort by Lucy Villaggio. Um, most of these are 14 count. I haven't been saying what the count of fabric is. But yeah, most of them are 14 count. Another tree skirt. This is Frisky Friends Tree Skirt by Todd Trainer. And I know what some of you are thinking. Amanda, how many Christmas trees can you possibly have to have all these tree skirts under? So it is my goal to have Christmas trees in my bathrooms one day. So if, Pl if Priscilla Blank can do it, I definitely have it. This is Passion Flower Angel by Lori Snow Hine. This actually kind of reminds me of Sandra Cook, her artwork. It's really pretty. This one is uh, Debbie Huron, a snow bunch stocking. Another cat out the window looking at birds. Uh, it's called Windowsill Birdhouse by, this one's actually on 18 count, interesting, uh, Martha Edwards. This is called Village Christmas Stocking, and it's by Carol Bryan. Kind of gives me that Charles Wysocki feel, though. Fairly newer one. This one is called Christmas Tradition Stocking, and it is by uh, the Dimensions Design Group. And you can also get this as like a full picture to hang on your wall. This one is called Four Jolly Santa Ornaments by Kristen Cook. I love it. This one. This one. I think this is the only one I would stitch out of the whole out of all of them. Of, of course, the cat. Yeah, I'll show a couple more and then I'll have to do a battery break. My bat the battery on my phone is acting up on me. It doesn't seem to want to keep its charge. Okay, this one is Gift Bearing Teddy Stocking by. Hmm. It doesn't say. So, by an, an anonymous person. I have no, it doesn't say who it's, who it's by. This one is called um, Holly Angel and Kitten by Ruth J. Moorhead. And it's on 14 count. That's cute. This is Snow Angels by Mike Casper. Or Cape, Cape Sir. Sorry, I didn't pronounce that correctly. This one's another stamped kit. Again, these poor animals. <laughs> Let them outside so they can get the birds. Um, windowsill. Winter Windowsill Pals by Barbara Gross. And did I say it was stamped? Can't remember. It's a stamped kit. This is um, the picture of the. I have. I showed the gold collection stocking of this. It's Angel of Christmas by Lane Gordon. This one is called Magical Christmas Stocking uh, by the Dimensions Design Group. Risky Friends Stocking by Linda K. Powell. This one's an oldie. It's from 1993. This is Cute Caroler Stocking uh, 
by Trisha Santry. And this is Holiday Hootie Stocking by Julie Dobson Minor. Oh, I love this one. This one's really cute. This is Ornamental Reindeer by Barb. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to say that. Tortiliot. Tortiliot. I apologize if I did not say that correctly to a person who I know is not watching my video. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break and charge my battery. Okay, I'm back, guys. I have. I managed to get like 8% on my battery, so we'll see if I can motor through these. Finish up this last one quickly. This one's called Winter Friends Stocking, and it's by Donna Race. She seems to be a really popular designer with Dimensions. I see a lot of designs by her. So there's actually a Dimensions Gold uh, kit that has this design, um, but it's kind of more like a night sky. This kind of looks more kind of daytime. And it also comes in a Dimensions Gold Petite as well. This one is Christmas Village Stocking by Charles Waisaki. And we have uh, Mary Bear's Tree Skirt by Lucy Rake. That's really cute. It's called Santa Animal Parade Stocking, and it's by Donna Race. Again, another one by Donna Race. This one's called Merry Kitten Stocking, and it's by Juth, Ruth J. and Bill D. Moorhead. And I always like die laughing when I see this cat, because I just imagine, like, he is a horrible singer. <laughs> I don't know, I just, it just tickles me funny. So funny. This one was an Amazon purchase, and they put the sticker on the front and delivered it like this. And when I went to peel the sticker off, it got like all sticky, so stuck paper over top of it. But it's called Jolly Trio Stocking. And the designer is covered up, so I can't even touch that. This one is called Santa Sidecar Stocking by Molly Graham. We have a Stack of Critters Stocking by Mahiko. Mahiko. I've seen this one stocked up quite a bit. This is the Companion Ornaments to the Tree Skirt. This is Teddy Treasure or Ornaments by Todd Trainer. These are mystical angel ornaments. Um, this is the companion piece to the tree skirt that I showed, I think, in my last video, the Dimensions Gold video. More cats at the window looking at birds. Three Bird Watchers by Martha Edwards. That's really cute. is Santa and Snowman Stocking and it is by Vicki Howard and the one thing I love about this is this cat snowman <laughs> I think that's the cutest thing Anyways, I love the whole stocking but that's like my favorite element of the stocking ah these poor cats and these little birds it's like they're taunting them Windowsill Pals by Martha Edwards and again, this is a, a stamped kit. This is Reindeer and Hedgehog Stocking by Rachel Baines. This is another sunset kit. This is uh, Mother and Wolf Pups. And again, it's a stamped, it's on a stamped kit. Or a stamped fabric, sorry. The 
This one's called Innocence, and it is by Heidi Press. It's really pretty. This one is called Christmas Cuddles Stocking. It's by Ruth J. and Bill D. Moorhead. Oh, and I'm going to have an avalanche. Sorry, guys. Oh, this is the companion piece to the stocking. Um, but instead of the gray kitten singing, it's the orange kitten singing badly. <laughs> Mary Kittens Ornaments by Ruth J. and Bill D. Moorhead. It's on a perforated plastic. And this is Noah's Art Christmas by Anne Crick. And if I were to stitch this, I think I would only stitch that section. I don't think I would stitch the alphabet. But that's really cute. The tree skirt. This one is a Mary Parade tree skirt by Teresa Colgate. And what gets me with this is all the animals and sweaters. There's a bunny in a sweater. Is that a bunny or a... Is that a bunny or a bear? Well, the ears look too short to be a bunny. There's a fox in a sweater with earmuffs. A squirrel in a sweater. Yeah, I just think that's like the cutest thing. Okay, a couple more. And we'll be done. This one is called Orchid and Hummingbird by Donna Race. And I'm not big on stitching flowers, like if you've noticed... I think I mentioned my last video, I don't really collect the the Dimensions kits with the big bouquets, um, but if there's like an element in it that I really like, like the bird and the butterfly, I'll stitch the flowers um, for that reason. And this is another tree skirt. I'm telling you guys, trees are growing in the bathroom in my house, so I need all these tree skirts. This one has a lot going on. What is it called? Toy Tree Skirt, and it's by Susan Wingett. And there's a cat on the sled. It's like, it's very detailed. There's no lack of detail. This is cute with the little mouse. There's two mice here. It's very cute. And the last one that I have is this one here. This is Angel Trio Stocking by Ruth J. and Bill D. Moorhead. And that one's really cute. Love that one. So that is my Dimensions regular kit parade um, stash dive. Uh, I'm going to try and post or try and film my Dimensions Gold Petite and my regular Dimensions kits. Or sorry, my uh, all other brands of kits that I have today if my phone cooperates. Um, if not, I'll have to do it another time. So anyways, take care.